Okay, really quickly before we dive into the video, I wanted to talk about something that I've seen a lot of comments popping up and thought this would be a good opportunity to just kind of explain and talk about it. So a lot of people have mentioned about, you know, GPS coordinates. Some of the videos have them, some don't. And a lot of people are like, I want GPS to this. Where's the GPS? Why, why doesn't it have G GPS? Or sometimes people have said things like, don't put the GPS for this place, you know? Lots of things like that. So, you know, there's the people out there who want the GPS so they can go out these places. And there's some people that know all these places and don't want these GPS coordinates being shared. So I'm going to go ahead and just explain everything about how I see it and what I think is, you know, fair for everybody, at least in my opinion. So when I started this channel, I wanted it to be something that was a service to you, to people, the general public by offering fun places for you to go with your friends, with your families, where you can go look for cool things. Now, it's true that there are some people who, you know, are kind of in things for themselves and they'll, they'll trash places up, they'll, you know, damage things, you know, whatever. You know, there's people like that out there. But the majority of people out there are good people who just want to have something fun to go do, you know, and they're gonna be respectful. And yes, there are a few people that are bad that might trash a place or do something that kind of makes it bad for everybody in a way. And that's just, that's gonna be what it is. You know, bad people are gonna do bad things. They're just gonna be that way, whether they do it at this location that I give the GPS to or somewhere else. If they're gonna do it, they're gonna do it, you know? But I want to be of service to you. So I want to give the GPS coordinates to as many as I can. Now, let's get into the thing of, okay, well, why then do I not give GPS to everything? Any place that I've discovered or that I've read from a book, you know, a place where I'm going or taking other people to that I found or am aware of and it's kind of well known. I give GPS coordinates to all of those because I actually want you all to have these. But at the same time, there are people who have come to me and said, I have this cool place that I thought you would like to go check out. And it's a place I don't know about that I'm not aware of. And they specifically ask me not to share the GPS of that location. So I am very respectful to those people. They're willing to show me a place that I don't know about. And so if they say, don't give the GPS coordinates, I don't. So in a nutshell, when you watch a video, if I give the GPS coordinates, it's because it's a place I found or is already common knowledge. If it's a place I'm not giving the GPS to, just understand it's because somebody else offered to take me to the location and they asked me not to share the GPS and I'm just being respectful to them. So moving forward, I just want you to expect that. Anyway enough of my rambling. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So this video is a video I shot back during the winter when I was just going down to the river and I ended up not posting it because it was a very short clip and I didn't find much, but I thought now would be a good time since I'm kind of running out of material to post to you guys. I thought, no, let's go ahead and post that right now while I'm trying to get some more material, uh, get some more videos lined up. I've just been super busy with work. So it's been very difficult to get <laughs> some content for you guys. Anyway, on with the video. Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I am out rock hounding, but there's not a lot of daylight left. I had a lot of things to do this morning and it's, it's about two o'clock. You can see how low the sun already is. So we'll have daylight from maybe two more hours. So during this time, I figured I was gonna at least try and uh, search the river. So here we got the Colorado River and there's some areas along the Colorado River where we have public access. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and See if I can find anything good in the pebbles. I have been here a couple of times and you do see a lot of little granites that wash down. A bunch of other very common rocks like limestones and stuff like that. Obviously the uh, granites are some of the prettier looking ones. But yeah, we're hoping to get some unusual stuff. Maybe like that. That could be chalcedony or an agate. Hmm, I might already, ha might already have my first find. I might put the macro lens on for you guys so you can see a little better. So here we go. I washed it off really quickly in the river. It's helpful having a river nearby. So yeah, you can see some 
light going into it, so it's definitely a chalcedony. We'll cut it open and see if it looks any good inside. That'll be fun. This one's very interesting. It's kind of a green with little lines going through it. So it was probably layers of mud and stuff. Maybe a little bit of chert and stuff in there. We'll see for sure. I'm going to cut that one because I think that might look kind of cool cut. So why not? Let's take it home and cut it and see if it's got anything. This one looks pretty nice. Looks like a jasper. Got some reds. Kind of a faded green. I'm going to go ahead and cut that. I'm pretty sure it's going to look the same. But anything that looks like it might give something nice cut, I'm going to go ahead and pick up and take back to at least cut it open. Oh, look at that right next to it. It's pretty rock, isn't it? It's probably a travertine of some kind. I don't know. Let's wash it a little bit and see. Okay, now that it's washed off, wow. It has some nice banding in it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I might hold on to that one. And I'm back in the parking lot. It might not look like it, but the sun is getting pretty low and it's getting hard to see things out there. So I figured it'd be time to head back. Sorry the video is so short. I only had an hour and a half, so <laughs> that happens. And it's not really a big rock county area. So there's not a lot to find, but there's still some few good things you can find here and there. And if you just to spend the time looking, you'll find it. And it's winter. There's only so many places I can go right now. So I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.